everybody welcome back to the channel it's W3 here so in this video we're going to be going over console history and that will be for bash so Linux and also um, Windows PowerShell and uh, it's useful to know even if you're an attacker or in a defender because um, the information in this history can give a lot away say um, your computer gets taken of you and someone wants to go through it for forensically looking for data etc this will give a lot of uh, information about what you've been doing on your laptop or computer and it might even hold some username and passwords that you've used for certain programs now if you're an attacker and you manage to get onto the actual physical computer you could use this to try and find username passwords what they've been going on etc or if you've got a remote connection you can also do that as well so let's go into the um, Linux first and obviously if you're on Windows and the target has CYG wing or a Linux console um, type process then obviously that will work as well so when you type commands on the uh, Linux terminal say you have a ls if you do ls dash a as we can see here we got a dot bash underscore history now this is where the commands go when you exit the um, terminal the dot bash history will get updated so let's have a look in there now so we can just do cat dot bash underscore history and as we can see it's got commands that we have um, typed basically as our history now this was a lot longer but I actually deleted it earlier so that's really quick and easy yep this is basically for Linux everyone kind of knows dot bash underscore history it's an easy one now for Windows this is not as well known but you can go to PowerShell and then it um, starts up in the home directory anyway but we can do um, git dash and then it's ps read line options and then we can pipe it into find string and then I'll just open this up a bit more okay find string and then we will do history save path okay it didn't work git dash ps read line options option find string history save path okay so that worked it was the s on the end of options it's just option now you should really do it in capitals this is the actual command git dash ps read line option but I've um, come to find that the yellow commands in PowerShell it doesn't really matter if you just pull it all in um, lowercase which is kind of quicker and easier so that's what I use unless it doesn't work then I will do the uh, camel case or whatever it is so yeah we've got this path which is where the history is saved so we'll copy this we won't copy the text we'll go one back and we'll just copy that we'll just cd and then paste so now we're into this folder here and we've got console host underscore history dot text and we've got ps read line underscore history now all of the data is in console host underscore history i'm not really too sure what the ps read line is but we'll have a look anyway as you can see there's really not much in here at all so it doesn't really matter clear that again have a look now the length of console host underscore history dot text is 20 and there's 2,744,355 that's the length 2,744,355 so there is a lot of data in that so we'll cut that now and have a look and as we can see there's a lot of data here so if an attacker or I don't know the police or FBI or anyone wants to get hold of your computer and look through this history that would be a uh, horrible and not very not very good for you if an attacker was to get remote access to your computer and look through this they may be able to find something to help them with their mission whatever and 
as a defender as well you know you can look through this and you can actually delete it <laughs> which will help but yeah so that's really what I wanted to show you and just let you know about it basically so yeah it's just a quick video hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next one